Good morning, folks. We're looking at another day of calm. The start of March has the planets aligned for both the Sun and Earth, but until then we're left in the dark with only a growing hue of light at the end of the tunnel. Or maybe that's just those active regions cresting onto the southeastern limb down there on the left. Okay, enough pretty pictures. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find 193 angstrom showing the definition of an Earth-facing solar quiet. There is no eruptive activity of any kind, and the solar flaring pretty much tells you what you need to know. Flat line. That's no surprise either, as the only spots on the disk are departing up north. They should fire once they get out of Earth's view. Just like the grouping that turned just before the weekend. This is Stereo A looking at the far side, snapping filaments and firing solar flares now that he doesn't have to be scared of the Earth facing quiet. Nothing's directed at Earth, but these are more heliospheric disruptions. Active on back, calm facing Earth, and calm at Earth as the solar wind speed in yellow is doing his solar flare impression. Higher density is just slow particles bunching up and likely will not disrupt Earth's magnetic field. Top news today, two new papers out about the hunt for a ninth planet. So many cosmologists taking this topic seriously these days. These papers are at a very advanced concept and reading level, but essentially they are exploring and suggesting new and different ways to hunt for the mysterious outer system planet, and also that data from Cassini might even tell them where to look and where not to look. January Global Climate Report is out, and we have the first signs that El Nino will give way to major cold events this year. As we should all know by now, the bad winters shift to Europe and Asia during El Ninos, and that's what we're seeing even though El Nino is beginning to wane in these weeks. Folks, we'll give a 36-hour warning here to the southern United States. That's Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, and across to the east. A low-pressure earth spot is expected to form over New Mexico tonight and will begin immediately driving eastward. It will begin soaking the southern plains in a few hours, but by tomorrow it will have gained the strength to produce tornadoes, hail, damaging winds, severe lightning activity, and flash flooding. So again, this is a warning for tomorrow night. That'll be Tuesday, February 23rd. When the sun goes down, the storms come out. I can smell spring around the corner. Folks, if you're relatively new here, we have a full suite of websites and resources for you. It's not all members' content. In fact, most of the material we have is free, and it is incredibly valuable. Definitely worth knowing. We've got pressure and radar in Europe and down under, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 5.30 a.m. Central Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.